Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of React Native. So today we are going to learn about how to create such a beautiful thing in a React Native. You can see that we are, we are going to the account, then profile, then brand, then membership, then dashboard. So basically this kind of things come into a role of the e-commerce website. When we have a cart, then we have a delivery address, when order summary, payment method and tracking, then payment complete, delivered, or you can make it as a uh, in the status of the order also like first the order is pros pending processed complete then delivered this kind of things we are going to use such kind of things in the react native so that way it's useful on on that note here i am using the react native package so to build in that one so before you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video please do like share and comment on my video so let's get started what actually i am going to do with this part right so first of all, what I have installed, I have installed this one. This is the React Native package, which has pretty much far downloads over here. You can use the vertical part also. I'm just using the horizontal one. You can see that we have a card delivery at the same thing we have, I have implemented. So you can use this one. Okay. So you need to install NPM I React Native step indicator. Okay. After this, you need to go with the step indicator. Then we have our labels. You need to mention the labels here, the car delivery address order summary on all. Then you have to put the custom styles over here. So whether it's indicator size should be there, current step stock width. So all the things you can define in the config custom style. Then the current position should be the zero. Then we have moving to the next, next part. Then change the state from the current position to the next positions. Okay. So let's see the code level. So here we go with the step indicator. So I have used the React Native vector icons for that one also. Okay, React Native Swiper, I'm going to uh, tell you in the next video, you need to install this part, okay? React Native step indicator, the same thing, first indicator we have drawn, the second indicator because I have to do the multiple things, right? And the third, three parts, right? After this, I have just used the get configure indicator, home position, switch position, if it is zero, then shopping cart, then location on, then assessment, then all, okay? Then we have a main default function app, then setting the state, current state, and the using the React use state. On step press, setting the current state, which position I'm just uh, looking off forward, whether it's to be a first, second, and third one, then render the page with that part, okay? So here we have a render label with the position, current position, styles, step dot label selected, and the styles dot stable, because whenever we try to move to the one place to another one, so you can see that, we are just moving from one position to another. You can see here. These are the different different swiper views. Okay, you can see that this is a swipe, uh, swiper one. Then we have a step indicator. Then the uh, again the top one is uh, wrapped with a step indicator. So if I go and check this one, you can see that when I just go with the, this this is page five. So I go with the step four, step this, the step processing, then step first one. Okay, you can see that account cart and approval so these three four five things i have used step indicator of this one which we have a card delivery address order summary payment track and the payment method and track then we have approval on step process on step process we are just saving the current page you can see that okay and these are the styles that we are using and here we have a swipe swiper that this is for the last this you can swiper is basically i have used for this one so here we go with this one last. I'm going to press this keyboard. Let's this one, page one. You can see page two. This is for swipe. Page three, page four, then page five. This is basically the swipe part that we have using. And we will discuss the swiper in the next coming video. Okay. So I think this is a very, very huge important when we have, we are going to develop an e-commerce website, when we have the account details, profile, then we anything such kind of you have in mind, then you can use that one. If you do, if you know what exactly it is so that you can use that one. So basically you can use in your e-commerce platform where we have the shipping address, billing address, then payment method, then order summary where you can use it. Right. And you can also use it, uh, the vertical part. You can see the vertical one. Here you can see that the vertical. Then we have a pending order. Then we have a order. This, we, you can manage this with the help of the statuses. Like uh, whether first my order is pending state, then processing state, 
then we have a uh, like the shipment state then order delivered then mark delivered then payment received such kind of things if you want to build in you can build it with the help of this part right so this one that is called the react native step indicator step by step because we have our steps right first 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 step is done then move to the second then third then fourth then fifth right so you can implement with the help of this one so any doubt any query in that just let me know in the comment section thank you and if you like the video please do like it and do the comment also like the video is good or something like so that you have learned something something new from this video okay you can also mention me on that okay thank you so much for watching this video have a great day